I fear death, the unknown, the abyss. <laughs> so a part of me wants to keep on living just to postpone death. Oh, boo-hoo! Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. Well, you're getting into a little bit of, well, you know, this is, what is the YouTube platform and you can say what you want. And when we, and Shara got into what we both did about what would Happy Cabby want. Well, I think one of the biggest things about that piece of shit is that, and he's a piece of shit, I just want to say a scum fuck. Uh, whether he's dead or alive, I, I, it doesn't matter to me. You know, it's probably better if he's dead. Um I, I, I don't, I'm not friends with him. I never was. He was an asshole to everyone I've ever seen. I know he helped some people. But overall, he just, and, and admittedly so, was a counterproductive jerk. Uh, and he and was extremely malicious and enjoyed it. He, he truly took Roman holidays and dedicated his life to doing that. I've talked to him about this. Uh, a truly broken, nasty, mean jerk. Uh, Going back to where I got him a hold of him first, going back to the, like things with YouTube advocacy, where they were talking about the YouTube adv YouTuber Advocate Channel (YTA) and other channels like that, and what he was doing back then and hiding his identity. But then that was also bringing criticism, and uh, he kind of went against it and caused drama, uh, being counterproductive and then telling people what they can and cannot say on YouTube, and supporting flagging, being a hypocrite. Just a complete jackass. We, we have a forum, and he go starts going against this. goes back to 2009. Just subverting it, being an asshole. You get into other things that I got into him with, and I even reached across the aisle back and forth and just backstabbing, counterproductive, going to other people, trying to get things done to fuck you over, disrupt anything you do, fucking with other people's videos, just making it a hostile environment, a lot like this guy Riff, okay? You know, Robert, if you're out there, you know what I'm talking about, you fucking asshole. The same mentality. And so I was hearing all this stuff from a lot of people and a lot of prostitutes and former prostitutes who became uh, YouTubers, and they had a lot of interaction with him and a bunch of creepiness where he was, like, stalking these women on YouTube. And I was like, I, and he kept getting into my anything that I did and, and cutting me and undercutting me. And I'm a very direct person. So I took this to him. And I approached him about stuff and I've seen his videos and we talked. And it was like, what is all this stuff? And you're talking about like you about being cab drives and liking children and liking that. And I know about certain people who have been prostitutes and their experiences and how he would talk about children with them and getting cab rides and want to take them places and do things with them. And I was like, that's pedophilia. What is, what are you talking about? And he didn't straight up admit it, what he was doing and why he liked children and prostitutes, but he had this thing about children are innocent. And like these women are, are like, well, they're broken and sinful. And it was like, what the fuck, man? Like, and then he starts talking about his family and his past. And it was just, well, you know, like, if you're going to continue to be, like, if you're talking about what you're doing is real, you're a monster. You need to get help. And he was like, I don't give a fuck. Fuck everyone. I want to express my, turn or my inner turmoil on this planet. And I was like, dude, you need to either get help or you need to die. Like, you are a disease and you want to spread it to everyone. You're a sick fuck. I remember getting into this stuff with Rith about him who defended him. And I was like, maybe you're like him, you son of a bitch. You want to defend a person who goes after fucking children or something and admits that? Well, how the fuck would you do that? And, of course, Rith has done that since then. You know, who, who would defend who but a, a, per, a person like him who let the monstrous part of him take it himself? It's just so asinine and all the drama. A person who dedicated year after year of just being an asshole to hear vitriol because they're unhappy, they want to bring everyone down to their shitty level. What a fucking jackass. If you can't get the miracle of life, fuck off. And fuck, get the fuck away from me or you're going to be forced to. Get the fuck out of me. He didn't believe in freedom of speech. He didn't believe in anyone's expression. He didn't give a fuck about people. He would go use people, oh, I'll help you about this, but he always looking for an angle 
or somebody or something. It was always this means to an end. He admitted that to me. And it was like, you know, he I'm probably that better to me off too. dead. He admitted that he admitted that to me too. Um, yeah, I he heard would, he that. would he yeah. would go and help people out with stuff and then he would try to figure out an angle for helping them. Like how can they help him too? Um, and, and there's really that's the oh god damn, I can't think of the movie.